Right now, a revolution is happening in labs across the world. Scientists are harnessing the bizarre properties of quantum mechanics to build computers that could change everything. From breaking unbreakable codes to simulating molecules for new drugs, quantum computers promise to solve problems our current machines can't touch. But here's the kicker. Most people have no idea how far we've come or what's coming next. In this video, we're pulling back the curtain on the eight stages of quantum computing. You'll learn exactly where we are now and what's just around the corner. Get ready to dive into a world where particles can be in two places at once and information travels faster than light. By the end of this video, you'll understand why tech giants are pouring billions into this technology and how it could impact your life sooner than you think. Let's jump in. Stage one, the quantum spark. In 1981, physicist Richard Feynman threw down the gauntlet. He proposed a radical idea using quantum systems to simulate other quantum systems. This was the quantum spark that ignited a technological revolution. But why was this such a big deal? Traditional computers struggle with quantum problems. They're like trying to paint a 3D picture on a 2D canvas. You're always missing something. Quantum computers, on the other hand, speak the language of the quantum world fluently. This isn't just theoretical. In 2019, Google's quantum computer performed a calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years. That's not just faster, it's in a whole different league. The quantum spark has been lit and there's no putting it out, but this is just the beginning. What comes next will blow your mind. Stage 2, Qubits, the building blocks of quantum power. Welcome to the world of qubits, where the rules of classical computing go out the window. Unlike traditional bits that can only be zero or one, qubits can be both at the same time. It's like having a coin that's heads and tails simultaneously. But here's where it gets really interesting. Two qubits can hold four states at once, three can hold eight, and so on. It doubles with each additional qubit. By the time you get to 300 qubits, you're dealing with more states than there are atoms in the observable universe. In 2021, IBM unveiled its 127 qubit processor, Eagle. That might not sound like much, but it's a huge leap forward. With each qubit added, the computing power grows exponentially. The race is on to create more stable qubits. Scientists are exploring everything from superconducting circuits to trapped ions. Each approach has its pros and cons, but they're all pushing towards the same goal, harnessing the full power of quantum mechanics. As we move to the next stage, remember this. Qubits are just the beginning. What comes next will reshape our understanding of computation itself. Stage three, quantum supremacy, the tipping point. Quantum supremacy. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's very real. This is the point where a quantum computer can solve a problem that no classical computer can solve in any feasible amount of time. In 2019, Google claimed to have achieved quantum supremacy with its 53 qubit Sycamore processor. They solved a specific problem in 200 seconds, a task they estimated would take the world's most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years. But here's the twist. IBM disputed this claim, saying their classical supercomputer could solve the problem in 2.5 days. This controversy highlights a crucial point. Quantum supremacy isn't a single clear-cut moment. It's a moving target, constantly being redefined as both quantum and classical computers improve. The implications of true quantum supremacy are staggering. It could lead to breakthroughs in fields like cryptography, drug discovery, and financial modeling. But it also poses risks. A sufficiently powerful quantum computer could break most of the encryption we use today, potentially compromising global digital security. Stage four, quantum error correction, taming the quantum beast. Imagine trying to build a sandcastle while waves constantly wash away your work. That's what it's like working with quantum computers. Qubits are incredibly fragile, and the slightest disturbance can cause errors in calculations. This is where quantum error correction comes in. It's like building a seawall to protect our quantum sandcastle. By using multiple physical qubits to represent a single logical qubit, we can detect and correct errors as they happen. In 20 2021, a team at Google demonstrated a logical qubit with a lower error rate than the physical qubits it was made from. This was a major milestone, proving that quantum error correction isn't just theoretical, it's achievable. But here's the catch. Current methods require about 1,000 physical qubits for each logical qubit. That's why companies like IBM and Google are racing to build processors with thousands of qubits. As we crack the code on quantum error correction, we're opening the door to longer, more complex quantum computations. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's the key to unlocking the full potential of quantum computing. And speaking of potential, wait until you see what's coming in the next stage. It's where quantum computing starts to change the world as we know it. Stage 5, Quantum Advantage, from theory to practice. We've talked about quantum supremacy, but quantum advantage is where the rubber really meets the road. This is the point where quantum computers can solve real-world problems faster, cheaper, or more efficiently than classical computers. In 2020, a team of Chinese researchers claimed quantum advantage for 
a problem called boson sampling. They completed in 200 seconds a task that would take the world's fastest supercomputer 2.5 billion years. That's not just faster, it's entering a whole new realm of possibility. But it's not just about speed. Quantum computers excel at certain types of problems that classical computers struggle with. Take molecular simulation, for instance. In 2020, Google used a quantum computer to accurately simulate a chemical reaction for the first time. This could revolutionize drug discovery, potentially cutting development times from years to months. Financial institutions are getting in on the action too. JP Morgan Chase and Barclays have been experimenting with quantum algorithms for portfolio optimization and fraud detection. The potential for quantum advantage in finance is so great that Goldman Sachs predicts quantum computing could be a $29 billion industry by 2021. As more companies find quantum advantage in their fields, we're going to see a surge of investment in innovation. But hold on to your hats, because the next stage is where things really start to get wild. Stage 6, Quantum Machine Learning, the ultimate neural network. Imagine a neural network that doesn't just process information, but actually manipulates the fabric of reality to solve problems. That's the promise of quantum machine learning. Classical machine learning has already transformed our world from facial recognition to language translation. But quantum machine learning takes this to a whole new level. By leveraging quantum superposition and entanglement, quantum neural networks can explore vast solution spaces in ways that classical computers simply can't match. In 2021, researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China demonstrated a quantum machine learning algorithm that outperformed classical methods for a specific task. They used a 62-qubit quantum computer to solve a problem in 98 minutes that would take the fastest supercomputers eight years. But here's where it gets really interesting. Quantum machine learning isn't just faster. It can tackle problems that are practically impossible for classical systems. This could lead to breakthroughs in everything from climate modeling to discovering new materials. Tech giants are taking notice. Google has launched TensorFlow Quantum, a toolkit for building quantum machine learning models. IBM is integrating quantum circuits into its machine learning workflows. We're standing at the threshold of a new era in artificial intelligence. As we move to the next stage, remember this. Quantum machine learning isn't just an upgrade to our current AI systems. It's a fundamentally new approach that could redefine what's possible in computation and intelligence. Stage 7, Quantum Internet Unhackable communication. Picture a world where information can be transmitted instantly across any distance with absolute security. That's the promise of the quantum internet. The key to this is a phenomenon called quantum entanglement. When particles are entangled, you can instantly know the state of one by measuring the other, no matter how far apart they are. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance, and it's the backbone of quantum communication. In 2017, Chinese scientists set a new record by demonstrating quantum entanglement over a distance of 1,200 kilometers using a satellite. This wasn't just a lab experiment. It was a proof of concept for a global quantum network. But why does this matter? Quantum communication is inherently secure. Any attempt to intercept or measure the quantum information destroys it, making it impossible to hack without detection. This could revolutionize fields like banking, government communications, and personal privacy. The race to build the quantum internet is already underway. The U.S. Department of Energy has unveiled a blueprint for a national quantum internet. The EU has launched a similar initiative. And China is already operating a 2,000-kilometer quantum communication line between Beijing and Shanghai. As we stand on the brink of this new era of communication, one thing is clear. The quantum internet isn't just an upgrade to our current networks. It's a fundamental reimagining of how information can be transmitted and secured. But even this isn't the final stage. What comes next will challenge our very understanding of reality itself. Stage 8, Quantum Simulation, Redesigning Reality. We've reached the final frontier of quantum computing and it's mind-bending. Quantum simulation isn't just about crunching numbers faster. It's about creating virtual quantum realities that we can manipulate and study. Imagine being able to simulate the exact behavior of every atom in a complex molecule or modeling the quantum effects in a superconductor. These tasks are practically impossible for classical computers, but they're right in the wheelhouse of quantum simulators. In 2019, Google's quantum computer simulated a simple chemical reaction. This might not sound impressive, but it's a huge step. As quantum simulators grow more powerful, we'll be able to design new materials atom by atom, revolutionizing fields like renewable energy and medicine. But it doesn't stop there. Some physicists believe that our universe itself might be a kind of quantum simulation. If that's true, then quantum simulators could give us a window into the very nature of reality. Companies are already jumping on board. IBM has partnered with ExxonMobil to explore quantum computing for energy applications. Volkswagen is using quantum simulation to optimize traffic flow in cities. As we push the boundaries of quantum 
quantum simulation, we're not just solving problems, we're gaining the power to reshape reality itself. The implications are both thrilling and terrifying. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.